we first put our settings here and then we start drawing so uh, type s6 pcast okay that's type okay the base level level one uh, top level level two correct uh, base and top offsets zero base offset zero top offset zero actual run with 2.2 actual run with 2.2 location line exterior support left exterior support left tread depth 0.25 tread depth 0.25 the first run will have eight risers. The second run is to complete the stairs. What is the distance between the stairs and the opposing wall? So we will um, begin eight risers and complete uh, the rest in the second run. So now we are ready to draw the the wall. Desired number. Ah, there's something. The desired number of risers 25. Desired number and here it's 24. We should adjust this. Okay. And now we start uh, drawing. And okay, here as you see the intersection it it automatically it automatically snaps. So we'll go. We want to draw eight risers and as you can see it's highlighted but it's very light eight risers created 17 remaining that's how you uh, know how many risers you can um, you can draw okay so here is the first run completed and the second run the same thing we go to the intersection we don't click anywhere we just one click here and to the eight risers and then the other click as you see it automatically uh, creates the landing the, the part connecting the, the two runs uh, so here we go like this and we you can click in any part it will not uh, it's not a problem here to, it will go until the last stair and here now now we've created the stairs we click finish and the task is that we want to um, get this dimension but let's we want to make sure what is the distance between the stairs and the opposing walls and here because sometimes it may be some it may get tricky and he you'll uh, be asked to to um, <clears throat> to get the dimension between the stair and the core of the wall not the edge so you uh, check it two times uh, you check the text and you check it visually and you see where does where does this line ends so here is from the edge here till the inner edge of this wall. Uh, so we go here. So it says 7.63. 7.63. That's. So here, question number nine, it says open rails 1B, Revit, activate level one floor plan view, create a rail using this dotted arc and uh, sketch the path using the following options. And what is the length of the railing? Here is this dotted line. So we will close this and we will open 
failed one B and activate level one floor plan view get here and sketch a railing and we will use the pick lines tool but before we pick this line we should complete the rest of the settings so here it says um, offset from path negative 0.6 and the type glass panel so here the glass okay and the offset from path it's minus 0.6 is correct so we will click on this line and we click finish so what uh, we should get is what is the length of the railing the length of the railing we will click on it and the length is 10.6459 10 10.6459 next question um, Let's open a floor level, activate level 1 floor plan view, create a floor plan using the interior parameter of the exterior walls and with this settings and we should get the parameter of the floor at the end. So we'll close this and we'll open a underscore floor. and activate level one floor plan view and we'll get to floor uh, which settings we should use s1 metric base okay that's correct offset zero height of from level zero extend to all core unchecked and we should use the interior parameter of the exterior walls as shown so here as you see that is the shape of the floor that we should uh, do so we will use this pick holes and we will just click on it and we now get the correct shape of the floor and we press finish what is the parameter of the floor the parameter of the floor is 56.1928 56.1928 next question um, open split 1a rabbit We'll cancel this. Open split one a rabbit, and we will activate level two floor plan view. And here we cannot see anything, so we will just double click on the scroll so that it zooms all the elements and here it says what is the length of the highlighted part of the wall it, i should split the wall first from this reference line and then um, get how um, the length of this so i can just try to make it uh, a smarter way that i'll say okay i will not split i will um, just measure this um, length directly yeah you can do this but it's risky but because and um, it's not applicable in all questions here i get the answer is 
four one and there is something here missing <clears throat> we see here that the length is in four decimal places but here it's in two decimal places so what I would have to do is to go to project units and change this to uh, custom and here we will select zero 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 okay okay here it's five point four oh five four five point four oh five four so we here um, just skip skipped um, a step in which we should split this wall but let's do it anyway we will um, close this and we will hit sl the the shortcut for split and here we get in this point and with the cab we uh, just scroll it we just tab one more time we get here and we press tab until this line appears and we click so now we have those two parts and uh, the length is here also 5.405 4.4054. So next question. Uh, that's the topography surface uh, question, and um, it's also in most of the exams I sold. We close this, and we will open. Um, BLK zero one BLK zero one and we open the site and we import on underscore topo we will get here where is it where is it insert and we will import CAD and here uh, you should take care it's given to me with which settings should I import this CAD so here it says current view only off it's here current view only unchecked uh, colors preserve colors preserve Positioning O2 origin to origin O2 origin to origin and units O2 detect and yeah I, I just use alt tab to cycle between the two views I select the input instances to generate a top surface uh, and points and we should use this layer when creating the top surface so we'll just uh, click now open here is our imported cab we will go now to um, messing on site and uh, what we will do is we'll go to um, top surface and create from import select import instances and we select our CAD file and here we want uh, to create the topo surface using this layer only so we will check none and we will select this layer only now we have our points created we will click finish surface and what is the project